dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had Hello three guys, energy so drinks today, before we've even left town. I'm part two. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. Um, I know. Think about Red how many top superstars came through Calgary. The oh, Heart, nice Edge, Jake like the Snake that. Roberts, okay. Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those well. legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. That's my You really cool. think we can become more famous no, than the inventor of the like paper cool. toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. In California, there's not even that much time. Driving to Calgary. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training, so... Thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <laughs> hey there. I hey, bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is. Hang on a sec. Bret, two lovely people are here for wrestling training. He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's got to look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month, and I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. 
But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Uh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! Okay, Red. Okay. So, Red, why don't you listen to him? Because you listen to you, bro. You have to drive two days for you. Literally. 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 So, you drove angry thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moments. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. So I know Even though Bradley can be a bit I much sometimes, people. he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. Yeah. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Sixteen plus sixteen plus sixteen plus sixteen. Five billion point trillion, gazillion, trillion, gazillion, quadrillion, bazillion, billion, zillion, quadrillion, quadrillion, gazillion, blah blah billion, cause I got a calling. Riley Flash, Riley Flash, Percy Jane, Riley Flash. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That quick, bro. Why am I using losing my stamina so quickly? Barely doing it, I lose my stamina. Whoa, this is a quiet one. She doesn't want to know nothing. She does this. Am I go? Am I go? You know what? I'm done. No more jokes. 
Belly to belly, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to the rock bottom. I'm just gonna call it the rock bottom. Now I'm just gonna become red. Josie Jane. Damn it. Hell with the Hercaranas. Spent the fire already, bro. A grapple. I think that's the next. your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? <coughs> well, what the hell just happened, Trey? Bruh, Trey. Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey, what was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we going to face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks, I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omelie. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? 
Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish. Three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. Well, am I reached level? I'm finished with level eight, or am I in level eight? Kyle Botch on a botch moves. Okay. Albert Asswipe. Albert Asswipe. Albert. I think this is chapter three, yay! Chapter three! My highest chapter is chapter 20, the last one. I think it's chapter 20. I think the end is chapter 17, actually. So, na Car a botch when watch all the moves you got. Uh, e oh, man, I'm freezing. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't have a bigger career with singers like that. <laughs> Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to make like seven connections to get here from Orlando. Ah, oh, hey, Peyton, no problem. I appreciate you doing me this favor. Red and Trey, this is Peyton Royce. We met when she trained here in Calgary, and now she recently signed with NXT. So who am I facing tonight? And by the way, it's cold enough to freeze the tail off a brass kangaroo. Can I have this heater out there for my match? Oh, sure thing, Peyton. You'll actually be facing Red tonight in her first ever match. Wow, it, it's an honor. We actually watch you on NXT all the time. And at least when my friend Trey here isn't hogging the laptop and watching weird videos of who knows what. <laughs> She's kidding. I told you to stay out of my browser history. Wait, did you say this is her first ever match? Yeah, Red's only been training for about three months, but don't take her lightly. She's really good. Three months? It took me longer than that to get here. And what kind of stupid name is Red? If anything, with your lack of experience, you should call yourself Green. <laughs> what? Anything she says with that accent is funny. After I'm done with you tonight, you'll understand why they call me Red. Because all that pretty white snow out there will be stained red with your blood. And then every time it snows, the children who were here tonight will be reminded of the carnage they saw and refuse to go outside. And after you spend weeks in the hospital and are finally able to drag your broken body onto the airplane back to Orlando, the pilot will be so terrified by the sight of your mangled face, he will lose control of the plane, sending it crashing down to the earth whoa, and- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think she got the point. You have major issues. Ah, uh, what the heck was that? The old hothead red comes out when she gets angry. We've been working on dialing it back. I like the intensity, but just focus that on your match, okay? And if you can take a break while you're painting the snow red with Peyton's blood, maybe stop and soak everything in. This is your first match after all, which is a big deal. It's on our list. Sorry, you're right, and I'm happy you'll be out there with me. I'm gonna go stretch. Probably my favorite chapter is chapter nah, one called. She'll be fine. When you're like, I don't I like hope. NXT. I like, hmm, I'm gonna say SmackDown. No, I like Raw actually. I like SmackDown and Raw, but the only thing I like in Raw is when you fight.
on the accent, actually, I guess it. Nobody, some wrestlers raw, SmackDown, they would always do it on Raw, but now most of the stars do it on SmackDown. 2021. Hey, Welcome to Winterfest 2015. As always, I'm your host, Gord Wilson. Hey, Payton Wars for Yellow Hope. There. This one I don't know. Yeah, this can be worse than last year's winter fast day. The good news is most of the victims of the wild moose attack have fully recovered. Oh my. Since this is Red's first ever match, I put a few toonies on Peyton Royce to win. Uh, oh, uh, I've just been informed there is no gambling allowed at Winterfest. Jeez. Uh, it looks like Albert Ash watching this. A lot less interesting. Secondhand Tukes, Larry Zamboni Driving School, and of course, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Now bring your ticket stub to Riley's for a free picture of Mr. Flash himself, after purchase of a commemorative frame for only $19.95. $19.95. That's when Triple H started. With that temper on red, oh, I would not want to be a pin shoes right now. Also, they don't look very warm. Bruh, I cannot reverse. Yeah, I'm told Red's manager goes by the name of Trey no. and hopes to be a wrestler himself someday. You know, I wanted to be a big-time radio DJ, but sometimes oh, your dreams don't work out and you end up announcing local rodeos, spelling bees, and Winterfest events. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know what? Uh, let's get back to the action. Bye bye, Peyton Royce. What? Wait, what? That's what you made me do. Peyton Royce trained here in Calgary and is now an NXT superstar. You can watch her every week on the WWE Network, which recently turned one year old. Oh, crap. That yeah. reminds me, my wife's birthday is tomorrow, and I didn't get her anything. Hey, Todd, uh, run out and snag me as much Winterfest junk as you can for 20 bucks. I'll pay you back. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Peyton. It's clear Riley Flash has a gem of a student here with Red. He hasn't sent anyone to WWE yet, but I think she may be the first. After the wrestling match, 
matches are over, be sure to check out the Ice Sculpture mm. Contest. It's the Adele Adele Soul. Soul. Yeah, sorry. They made me sound. Yeah, so Bye bye, time for straight. What? Oh, she's supposed to ground it. Yeah, there's still another great match coming up. Where you see Calvary's own Riley Flash give out a surprise opponent. I hear that winner has loosened up the old purse strings to bring this person in. It would have been nice if they did that for an ounce or two, but I digress. Peyton, uh, koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities, kind of like you. Uh, and uh, 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 the Great Barrier Reef is more like the just okay Barrier Reef. And and, and, and boomerangs are a sham. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, oh, your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. I gotta pin that. That's a kick out, literally with me. Get up, get up. Get up. Ah! Selena Del Sol! <laughs> 
Yeah, make sure you check out my podcast. Damn it, I'm just so good. Your guide to living in the Stampede City. Next week's episode features my annual snow tire I won't, I won't. Welcome to Winterfest 2015. As always, I'm your host, Gord Bissell.
Hey, Peyton. Uh, koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities, kind of like you. Uh, and uh, 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 the Great Barrier Reef is more like the just okay Barrier Reef. And, 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 and boomerangs are a sham. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. Stuff, ladies and gentlemen, we did three stuff, and that's gonna be to the end for today's video.